This movie The Witch Part 2, the other one is the about a girl who was created with genetic engineering and has psychic powers. A girl looks panicked standing in a barn where cows were killed. Terrified she gets out of there and someone keeps telling her to come to her mom but there's no one and she gets a severe headache. Then a huge dog barks at her furiously and with the chain broken runs toward her. At that moment, Mi Young wakes up from her dream. It's early 2000s. Seeing her sleep all the way, her friend suspects she spent the last night with her boyfriend but she denies and begs her to stop talking about it. When her friend goes dancing she pats her belly carefully. They are going to the company picnic chartering a bus. After a while, most fall asleep but all the supervisors are wide awake. All of a sudden, the bus swerves into a side road and drives through a huge door. The people start to wake up and wonder where the bus is going because the surroundings are just like a huge abandoned factory site. When the bus stops the supervisors wear gas masks release the nerve gas and start beating up the people. And then one of the supervisors gives an inject into Mi Young and carries her away. When the bus door opens, the supervisors get off with Mi Young and a lot more people waiting outside get in holding iron rods. Later she wakes up to find herself lying in a bed in an operating room. The TV news reports the bus she took fell from a cliff and everyone in the bus was found dead. Finding her woke up Beck tries to calm her down. Though Mi Young says she is pregnant, Beck already knows it. She says it's a girl now but it's going to be twins and they're going to have countless brothers and sisters. Beck's twin sister comes near and says they're with her no matter what. The scene jumps to the present. A woman smokes whose hand is tattooed with a Chinese word which means a clay doll. When the rest members arrive, they start to massacre all the experiment subjects in ARC, a secret lab in South Korea. They make sure to shoot their heads because they cannot be destroyed without their brains ruined. After they have all gone the only survivor opens her eyes. She pulls out all the tubes attached to her and walks out of the facility. Slowly she walks on snow leaving literally blood-red footprints but all of a sudden sees a woman in the water and gets a severe headache. As her pain grows lumps of snow around her go up in the air but when the pain is gone they fall to the ground. The chief manager of ARC Jang comes visit Beck the former chief manager to talk about the ARC accident. Jang suspects her of being behind the accident because very few even in the foundation know of ARC's existence. She wants him to investigate but he has no time for that because the girl walked out of ARC herself not destroyed. She is shocked. The girl walks in a forest amazed by everything and starts to walk along a roadway. A van driving fast almost hits her and soon makes a sudden stop and comes backward to her. And then a man forces her into the van. The van is full of gangsters kidnapping another woman Kyung Hee. She wants the head to let go of the girl who has nothing to do with them but he thinks she may have witnessed something such as the number plate. She suddenly recites the numbers and even the address on a small sticker which arouses his suspicion so he and his men start to touch and harass the girl. She breaks the hand that touches her and flings them through the van door. After a while waking up, Kyung Hee gets out of the car and sees the girl about to finish a man off, so stops her though scared, and after a moment's hesitation she takes the girl with her. One of her father's friends vet Dr. Bayan comes to help her, surprised at the girl's figure, and then the girl faints. On their way back the girl feels affectionate touches from Kyung Hee for the first time in her life. Removing bullets from the girl's body he is shocked the girl's wounds are gone already. He is worried the girl may not be normal but that's why Kyung Hee can't turn her away. The chief agent Jo is finishing off the last one in a church in the middle Asia. Though her team member Tom worries she's always getting the job done alone she had to hurry for normal believers not to see it. Returning to her place she pulls out bullets with her bare hand and the wounds heal by themselves. After checking out the next mission she gets relaxed and drinks. But gets a message which makes her sigh. Kyung Hee takes the girl home. Seeing Kyung Hee's face wounded, her brother Day Gil gets angry asking who did it, and grabs her by the jaw roughly, and then the girl grabs his arm staring at him. Kyung Hee calms her by saying it's okay because it's her brother. The three have dinner but, when Day Gil says the food tastes bad they start fighting, during which the girl scarfs down the whole food on the table alone. Kyung Hee let the girl stay in her room, gives her clothes, and thanks her for saving her life. Smelling the clothes she feels good because its smell recalls Kyung Hee's touches. Beck explains the girl to Jo. Her official ID is ARC 1 Datum Point or ADT and she is the perfect model of their project carried out for over 40 years. They retrieved the original Mi Young long ago, separated her fertilized egg from her body, and duplicated it which became ADT and Ja Yoon. Ja Yoon appeared in Shanghai lab a month ago but disappeared again. Beck thinks the creatures like them are too dangerous to be out there in the world. 
Joe accepts this unofficial mission to pay off her debt 10 years ago and Beck gives her a detector that shows the location of the chip which Beck implanted into the experiment subject's brains. On her way back she's followed by a car so orders Tom to deal with it. He swerves into a side road through a forest and die appears and all of a sudden runs towards the car. Noticing their local agents Tom doesn't want to fight between agents but throwing the broken door they attack him. Defending himself with the door, when they put out their knives he starts to fight back and then they get seriously injured. Joe gets them to tell their boss to come see her. On their way back again the detectors activated. The girl gets a nosebleed and a horrible headache seeing a woman in the water and someone tells her to come to her mom. She stops breathing and notices. The clock stops and dust doesn't move in the air. But when she breathes again the clock ticks again and the dust fall to the ground. She feels something dangerous coming near and flings the window wide open. Then several cars are coming across the pasture. This is Yang Du who was a henchman of Kyung Hee's father but now that he is dead Yang Du is eager to deprive her of this pasture she inherited. That's why she was kidnapped before. Kyung Hee stands in front of her house holding her father's gun. He is misunderstanding she hired other gangsters who made his henchmen seriously injured, so scolds her for having others involved in their family stuff. When his men approach her she shoots in the air as a warning which is useless. And Day Gil runs towards them swinging a baseball bat but is no match for them. He urges her to sell the land at a higher price than markets but to him she will never sell it because he killed her father. He gets furious and orders his men to beat her up. Then the girl appears standing on the edge of the roof and just falls and lands on the ground safe and sound shocking everyone. Walking to the man grabbing Kyung Hee's hair she kicks him into a distant barn. Yang Du's men holding rods runs to her but she handles them so easily with her bare hands. And approaching Yang Du who threatens her with Kyung Hee's gun she just takes it and shoots anywhere. He's freaked out begging her not to come. Kyung Hee stops the girl, slaps him in the face to wake him up, and tells him never to come again. All of them rush away. Jang and Joe meet at his agent's cemetery which is surprising because she's been thinking he would have just burned and thrown them away. He warns her not to get involved with Beck who is suspected of being behind the ARC accident because right after meeting her Ja Yoon Rob Shanghai lab and all experiments of X and clay dolls disappeared. But Joe is not interested in their power struggle and needs no advice from anyone. Now she warns if he has his men tail her again he will get in trouble this time. Yang Du and his men go to buy and drag him inside his animal hospital and pull down its shutter. Yang Du threatens to cut his finger if he hides anything about the girl in Kyung Hee's house. After a while he screams in agony and Yang Du comes out. Now he's sure she's the one on whose neck someone is putting a bounty so gives an order to contact there. Kyung Hee Dae Gil and the girl are shopping at a market. The girl excited at the foods runs a Ruand and Dae Gil chases her. Then Kyung Hee gets a call from Bayan and disappears. She helps him get off the car whose hand is heavily swathed in bandages. As both the girl and Yang Du are so dangerous he would like her to turn her away and give up the land. As she starts her car, Joe gets on the car, and shows video surveillance footage, in which the girl explodes a man's head with her bare hand. Joe is worried the girl may turn into a savage monster at any moment, so urges her to follow her directions to save her only brother, and gives her a tracking device. When Yang Du gets back to his office and his men opens the door for him, they are shot in their heads. Clay dolls are waiting for him and of course they want the girl's location. Whether he reveals it or not they will kill him so the leader advises him to speak quickly and avoid terrible torture. Desperate Yang Du endlessly explains his usefulness to her. Interested she gives him a present. Joe gets her agents ready to decommission ADT. They must finish it within 30 minutes of the fireworks festival so people don't hear gunshots. As Kyung Hee checks the time Dae Gil tries to take the girl to the fireworks festival. Then Kyung Hee stops the two and tells the girl to run away. While Joe is upset that the siblings are still inside, Yang Du and his men crowd Kyung Hee's front yard as well as clay dolls. Dae Gil takes the girl onto the roof and tells her to jump as far as possible and run away. And when it gets better he wants her to come back go to a karaoke room and have pizza together too. Yang Du claims the girl but Kyung Hee says no so he just shoots her and then fireworks begin. When Dae Gil runs out to Kyung Hee, Joe's agent fires the missiles to the house, and then one of Clay Doll's heads in the direction where the missiles were fired. She attacks the agent and he shoots at her but moving faster than bullets she cuts his neck. Seeing Dae Gil furious, Yang Du is now sick of this family. He asserts Dae Gil's father died while trying to kill Yang Du, who had been his henchman for 15 years, and it is with his own hand that he took this land. Trying to shoot him he is shot by Joe who urges the men not to get involved in it. But the Clay Dolls leader wants to have more fun, so raises up the fence in the air, breaks it in pieces, and shoots them to every man's chest. 
Though Joe and Tom shoot them endlessly they are so fast. But when a clay doll comes close she subdues her and shoots her in the head. And Joe shoots the leader, who blocks it with her hand which quickly grows back, and the male clay doll joins her, so Joe falls while avoiding his attack. There, Joe sees Day Gil trembling and tells him to run away, then Yongdu shoots at him, so Tom hurriedly steps on his arm and Joe blocks the bullet with her back. But it turns out the bullet has gone through her body as well as Day Gil's chest. The girl wakes up in the forest a little far from home. Looking at the fireworks, memories of the siblings come to her mind. When the clay doll returning after killing all of Joe's agents recognizes the girl, she flies to her to cut her head off, but her knife can't reach the girl. The girl takes the knife and stabs in her head. Angry at the dead siblings, Joe tries to kill Yong Du, and the male clay doll confronts Joe. She eventually succeeds in stabbing him in the neck, but the leader joins in and she is subdued. They stab her even in the neck and makes her collapse. Then the girl returns to the house, dragging the clay doll she killed. Seeing the dead siblings, she goes to Yong Du, crushes one of his ankles, striking the clay dolls running to her, and then crushes the rest ankle. Taking a knife the leader attacks her again, but the girl just staring at her, makes her stab herself again and again, and grabs her hair and flings her. The male clay doll now makes everything around him rise up and throws them at her, but they can't reach her. Now the girl begins to split them into dust. Flying towards her he gets trapped in the dust, and with her single hand gesture the dust becomes a vortex, and he also becomes dust and disappears. Frightened, retreating, the leader is blocked by a car and Jia Yun gets off the car. She is happy and relieved to see her, but saying she never told her to kill her sister, Jia Yun cuts her neck off. She introduces herself as the girl's twin. Damaged, she was helped by the clay dolls when trying to get the girl out of Arkansas. Jia Yun thought the girl must not be her sister, because she didn't even fight back, but at some point she began to feel the girl in her mind, and only the girl is consciously connected with their mom. Jia Yun asks the girl to go find their mom together, but the girl turns and goes to the dead siblings. When the girl looks at them and feels pain, Jia Yun is amazed that she can feel such emotions. The girl wants to save them, but Jia Yun says though it is possible, she can only save one of them who can't live a normal life again, so advises it might be better off letting them die as human beings. The girl sits down desperately and Jia Yun gives her an injection. Getting the sleeping girl into the car, Jia Yun leaves. On the other hand, Beck finishes drawing a woman's face and says, since the twins met each other they would come find their mom soon, so she should prepare herself. The movie ends with Mi Young opening her eyes in the water. For more videos like this, remember to subscribe and hitting the like button helps this channel continue. Thanks for watching.